Yo, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The Doneka Ada Paparella is still here, and it is What's Up, What's Up, What's Up on TV. And in case you're watching the show for the very first time and you're wondering, what do we do on the show? What do we do on the show? We serve you all the juicy details from all the trending stories in the last seven days, okay? Um, you find out all the, we connect the dots. I mean, most of the time you just see headlines, or sometimes you just see, you know, um, you hear some rumors and you don't know whether or not they're true well that is what we do on the show we confirm or at least let you know that these are just rumors and not stories you should pay attention to well we're about to start now but before we go into the juicy details we always like to check out the headlines so are you ready Techno apologizes for dancing publicly with half-naked women. Oh. Two-Face becomes Nigeria's stock exchange ambassador. Yay! Nigerian rapper Link celebrates four years as born-again Christian. Oh. Joseph Smollett officially fired from Empire. In World of Sports, Team Nigeria to stop Morocco with 562 athletes and officials, while Arsenal rejects 13.2 billion naira it will be bid. All these and much more shortly. Stay with us. You're welcome back. Zadon right here, and it is What's Up on TV. You're checking out the entertainment news served hot, spicy, and fresh by us, okay? Not just me. I don't take all the credit for it because we have like a whole crew who ensures that everything you see, everything you watch, and all that you hear is done right and is done properly, okay? So the entire crew of What's Up on TV has made this possible. It is time for us to dive into the juicy details. You've checked out the headlines. Are you ready? Nigerian musician Austin. Kelechi, popularly known as Techno, has been in the news, okay, recently, not for all the right reasons, you know, um, a, f a few days back, you know, I saw an interview where, he, you know, he talked to one of Nigeria's uh, very, very popular broadcasters, um, by the name Daddy Freeze, you all know him, he had a an exclusive interview with Adi Freeze where he revealed a whole lot of things that's been going on with him, you know, with his health, you know, how he had to do surgeries, how he still has some um, steel, some steel material, iron material or steel material somewhere in his throat. Um, in case you don't know, um, Techno has been having issues with his um, vocal cords and he had to undergo surgery. But this is not why he's in the news right now. I mean, he did mention that um, he literally almost went broke trying to solve out this issue. He had tried all forms of medication and um, surgery was the last resort. And even after surgery, um, he's still not sure of what the status or what the the true situation is right now with his vocal cords, he's just managing it. But Techno went ahead to become a bad boy shortly after this interview. I said, um, August 2nd, um, precisely on Friday, um, some days back, um, Techno had recorded a song, a collaboration with Zilatan. You all know Zilatan, the one who is popular for the uh, Zanku legwork dance. Well, him and Techno apparently teamed up to record a single and they were shooting the video. Now, it's not so much, I mean, people shoot videos all the time. They had um, this truck, um, this um, transparent truck, you know, from an advert company and um, they had, um, semi-nude girls dancing in it. Techno was seen, you know what I mean, with a video that has since gone viral, you know, dancing with these um, naked girls, you know, and um, spraying them, even went to the extent of spanking their buttocks. And this happened right in front or Yes, right at the lucky toll gate with so many parents and some of them with children still in their cars, you know, seeing all this. There were several videos and it sparked up a lot of controversy. People came at techno, people talked about it. Some actually defended him and said, well, that it's all entertainment. But, you know, this is a country where we don't joke with our cultural values and certain things mm, we don't take kindly to. And um, that has since put techno in the news. But that is not all. There is a, a legal part to it. You know, and um, the Lego State government came in. First of all, they've suspended the license of the company. Um, that is the advert company, the agency that um, owns that truck. Their license have been suspended. As we speak right now, they can't do business. And also, there is um, a chance, a very big chance, uh, that Techno actually might you know, do jail term because they are saying that um, Techno in performing that act has contravened section 136 of the criminal um, law of Lagos State 2015. The section provides that any person who commits any act of gross indecency with another person in public commits an offense and 
is liable to a conviction of at least three years imprisonment. Section 134 states further that an indecent act probably maybe not as gross, you know, like the one we're talking about in a public place, makes both parties engaging in the act liable to two years imprisonment. So um, this is no joke at all. And uh, this message actually came from the Lagos State Signage and Advertising Agency, LASA. You know them. For those of us who are entrepreneurs, we get signboard outside. We know what these people, they do us. No be small team, pay today, pay tomorrow. Well, now then talk all these things, say, uh, techno don't contravene the laws or certain laws, you know, and sections of the law in Lagos State, you know, and um, they intend to take full legal action against it. Now, Techno has come out to apologize, you know, stating that uh, they had some issues um, with the cars that when they were going to shoot a video. So, you know, the excuse guys, the bishop, but let's just say it, that he had to, they had to come down and then um, they came into the truck and then somehow, you know, that it was a video they were making. They decided to just make the most of the situation that he would never contravene um, the decency laws or go against those laws of Lagos State. You know, he has apologized and we want to urge the authorities to please tender justice with mercy. <laughs> All right, these are happy times for Two Face and DBR. Two Baba, who seems to be winning in every area, every facet of life. I mean, a wonderful family, great kids, money coming in, the music is popping, he's doing really, really well. Well, um, Two Baba recently was uh, made the ambassador for the Nigerian Stock Exchange um, at a ceremony that was held um, sometime um, last week. Um, we are really, really excited for Two Baba. Now, there's a story actually behind it. Annie Dibia, his wife, um, actually um, shared some some information, you know, some private information, said um, Two-Face was actually invited to attend a ceremony that was being put up by the Nigerian Stock Exchange. But on the morning of the event itself, he had been sick for a while. And that morning, um, he almost did not attend the event, you know, but he just, you know, made up his mind, you know, said, mm, I really need to attend this event. I really need to go there. So he attended the ceremony, not knowing that he was going to be honored with an ambassadorial position. Make you see life. He no one go that day. He sit down, they look, say, oh, I don't think I knew him, but did just do me one Okay, my body didn't do me work. Okay. But make I all move, make I mash up, make I go this place, make I go see what they happen. He can go there and I then give up, make him the ambassador. Of course, we know that. Um, someone might say, okay, money is not just about money. Now, being the ambassador for Nigerian Stock Exchange means that Two Face will be privy to some information as regards some of the things that go on in the Nigerian Stock Exchange. And that means that he'll be more informed to make proper investments. Do you understand what you're at the end? He ain't gonna get first hand free information. You know, as regards waiting they sell, I waited they sell, which bulls are popping. You understand what I'm saying? What stocks are doing well, what bonds are doing well, and he can make you know appropriate investment. So anybody waiting near him now too as well will also feel benefit from him. So too Baba, no what I'll be calling you so that I can get some of that information because you know we, you know, we now hustlers, we like to invest. <laughs> well, we say congratulations to the DBS um, for this. Um, another feather to their cap, and we keep praying for them to keep winning. And um, this is a man who has done so much for the Nigerian music industry, he's given it a face, and um, he's still doing really, really well. And we're happy with this piece of news and look forward to more great news coming their way. All right, still in the news, Joseph Smollett, man. This man has been involved in one controversy or the other. And it so happens that this controversy started just at the peak of his career because I remember just before the controversy started, you know, the one about him um, um, being attacked by two Nigerian brothers who um, he had filed a report against that they attacked him, you know, um, just before that happened. This is, Joseph Smollett was actually in South Africa on a promotional tour. He was on a tour musical tour and I saw videos from his performances. I saw the footages where he performed some of his songs, some of the songs that he had performed um, at, on the Empire show itself. And in case you're wondering who Joseph Smollett is, Joseph Smollett is actually Jamal Leon. He plays the character Jamal Leon in uh, the popular Fox um, um, series, Empire. A lot of people love the series when it hit the TV, when it hit the screens and people cannot get enough of it. Um, Joseph Smollett plays a gay character, you know, but a sense sensational, phenomenal singer. The music, I have to say, in Empire is phenomenal. Joseph Smollett, in recent times, has been involved in several controversies just after I saw that um, 
promotional musical tour where he performed in South Africa. The ladies couldn't get enough of him. You know what I mean? He was doing really, really well. And shortly after that, he came back to America. And all of a sudden, he's been attacked by two Nigerian brothers who go by the name Olabin Joe and Abimbola Oshundairo. Two brothers. You know, initially, Nigerians, it sparked up a lot of controversy. Nigerians had started, oh, Nigeria, we don't go hear what, we don't go do this, we don't go do that. Then later on, you know, shortly after that, you know, because he promoted it as a homophobic and racist hate crime in Chicago. And you know that Americans, you know, really are not cool with such crime. So it, it was, you know, it sparked up a lot of controversy. People were saying all sorts, you know, it started a movement, you know, and we don't know what really transpired or we didn't know what really transpired until later when the Chicago police now came out and actually, um, <clears throat> They had evidence to prove that Joseph Smollett actually had paid the Nigerian brothers to attack him. He was like, he was trying to create some sort of sensation, you know, around it. He had paid them the sum of $3,500 to attack him. It was a staged crime and uh, that really didn't go well with Joseph Smollett. At the point, we thought they had yanked him off Empire and then we saw him back on the show, you know. And then shortly after, they said there was evidence to prove that Joseph Smollett had not lied about it. So we, we really do not know what's happening with it. But now, what we can tell you authoritatively is that um, Joseph Smollett um, had been fired um, at the, a recent uh, press conference um, where it had uh, the CEO of Fox Entertainment, Charlie Collier. Um, he actually announced that um, Joseph Smollett will not be returning for the final season of the popular series. I know that the LGBT community worldwide will not be happy about that because um, he, he's kind of like their representative. And recently we noticed that there were a lot of gay scenes in Empire series. I think they were really trying to um, reach out to the LGBT community or get them, you know, to really, really become addicted to the show like the rest of the world. <laughs> They're trying to sell some points with the LGBT community. And just when they were Doing that, I'm sure they've created more scenes around, you know, um, just the smallets, my back on come up, and now he's been officially fired from the show. Heart goes out to you, my brother. We know you've been having or experiencing tough times, you know. This is a time to have some sort of reflection, you know. Think about everything that's happening a few times, make adjustments when necessary, and move on. We pray that God grants you the strength to fight and find your feet back once again. <laughs> We're going to take a break, okay? We'll take a short break, and when we come back, you'll be checking out the rest of the news. Okay? You're welcome back. Zodem Paparella right here at your service, and you're checking out a fresh edition of the entertainment news on What's Up on TV. <laughs> well, we've um, covered a better part of the news, actually. I think about 90%. We're left with the sports news. This is the part I know a lot of people want to watch. Well, in sports news, um, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, well, isn't the news. Well, but we hope for all the right reasons, because I'll come around to that. Now, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Olu Shade Adeshola, revealed that a total of 562 athletes and officials will be representing Nigeria at the forthcoming 12th All-Africa Games, taking place in Morocco a few weeks from now, actually. Adeshade gave a breakdown of the contingent while briefing newsmen in Abuja on Wednesday towards the preparation of the team now for the Continental Sports Showpiece. Now, what um, got my attention was the fact that they said a hundred about hundred special guests will be part of the contingent he said the contingent would have 153 male and 155 female athletes um 58 coaches um 27 medical personnel 20 team secretaries two advanced party four secretarial staff and two officials of noc if you do the maths and you subtract this from 562 you will find out that a whooping 113 people who have no business being there are just going to go there on government sports the wastage for this country never stays stop even for sports now we're taking only 153 male athletes some countries will be producing or bringing as much as 200 300 400 athletes male alone and probably female even more the total sum of athletes that are going, the people who actually have reason to be there, if you add the sum together, they are less than 400. 
that is including the coaches, the medical personnel. There are 113 VIP guests who have no business being there are going to go there on government Esther code. Money go the waste. We go say we no get money for this country. This is how we keep wasting funds. And this is really sad. We need to stop doing these things. We need to start prioritizing and getting our priorities right. We get a talk on until the right people will go here, go here. Well, that about wraps up the entertainment news on What's Up on TV. I hope you enjoyed every bit of it. I enjoyed uh, bringing to you every piece of the entertainment news and I look forward to doing it again.